Are you looking for an easy and efficient way to track projects in Excel? Not just one project, but a whole bunch of them. And these could be projects you are managing yourself, or maybe you are overseeing a team and you want to know what's going on and you want to make sure that work is properly allocated so no one's got too much on their plate. You want to see with one glance what's happening today, this week, this month, right? I have a ready to use template for you. And I'm also going to show you how to create this kind of spreadsheet easily and quickly. Are you ready? Come on over to my desk. Boom, this is my spreadsheet. This is what I call the multi-project tracker. Before we get into the details, I want to let you know I have created two versions of Tracker. One using a daily layout and another one with a week-based format. So you have to consider what format is best for your needs. I usually work with week-based schedules with defined milestones at the end of each week. But for your project, a daily schedule may be more suitable. Now, let me show you how I've organized all the information. Each project has its own dedicated sections and projects are shown one below the other. And this has some huge benefits that I'm going to get back to later. Now, within a project section, we have the project name in the first column. You also want to add some extra columns to enter additional information. At the top of the project section, I have added the assigned project manager. Next to the right, we have what's called the work breakdown structure shown in yellow. So here I have listed the individual tasks for that project. And as you can see, they are grouped by project phase. I like this layout because you can clearly see what activities belong together. In terms of columns, of course, want to add the start and finish dates for each task, assuming that you want to track things on that detailed level. In my case, I prefer to enter dates manually. They are not being calculated automatically based on some complex formula. I just key in the dates. And that's because I prefer to keep my spreadsheet simple. I can't break things accidentally by overwriting or deleting some cell. I don't need to wreck my brain if I haven't used the sheet for some time. I know how the spreadsheet works and I'm in control. There's one more column at the very right where I track the progress for each task. Let's scroll to the right. Here you can see the tasks mapped out on the timeline. And this is also what we refer to as Gantt chart. I draw the taskbar simply with my mouse. So let's say I want to have this task scheduled three weeks starting on this date. I just select the cells and make them blue or whatever color you want to use. For milestones, I usually make them red so they stand out visually. Now let's talk about another important aspect of this kind of spreadsheet. The whole point of having a tracking sheet like this is to give us additional insights, which we would not get if the project information were scattered around different tabs or even different files. So let me show you what you can do. Look at the top. As you can see, I have enabled filters for all columns. And this is something you have to do first. Now let's say I want to filter by resource. I can filter for the activities or projects that, for example, Linda is involved in. And that's why you need to put the project name into each row. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see the project name if it were just entered at the top. Let me show you another analysis you can perform. Let's say I want to see what activities are scheduled for next week. I can simply click on the filter icon at the top for the relevant week, click filter by color. I select the color that I've used for the task bars. And now the spreadsheet will only show the relevant tasks which are taking place next week. And this is what makes a project tracker like this so powerful. Now, before we close, here's one more tip. Building the timeline header row, so the dates or weeks shown at the top. This is the most tedious part of creating a project tracking sheet because it involves formatting the individual cells in the right way and of course entering the dates. And here's how I've solved this. I've created a separate tab with predefined timeline headers using different formats. And this is how it's used. Let's say I want to build a timeline starting from January 6, 2025, which is a Monday, and I want to create a daily schedule. What I do is I go to the first cell and I put in the start date. And now you can see the other cells are automatically filled with the correct 
dates. And now all I have to do is select the header cells, go back to my planning sheet and paste the new timeline header to my planning sheet. And now I can begin building my schedule. So if you do a lot of project planning, uh, you may have a lot of clients and you have to create project timelines on a regular basis, having these copy templates saves you a ton of time. As you can see, using standard Excel, you can build a really nice project tracker, which enables you to keep track of your entire project portfolio. So this should help you get started building a template for tracking your projects. And if you don't have the time to create such a template yourself, you can buy a copy of the template, which I've shown in this video. You'll find the link below the video. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Adrian. I'm a senior project manager and I'm the creator of Tactical Project Manager, a platform where I teach project management in a very hands-on practical way. Adios. I see you around.